It's so damn pretty in there, and I love Aura. I've got the stock 120 mil fractal, frac, fractal design fans in the front, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, be upgrading to 140 mil PWM fans. So uh, my Asus Z390 board has PWM, so if you don't know what that is, it'll basically tell the fans to spin up or spin down. And uh, I'm going to get some really good ones through Noctua with some really good reviews. Uh, some amazing reviews, and if I'm editing video, they'll kick up to full speed, and if I'm just browsing Chrome or something, they'll go down to lower speed, and, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get some 140s, and then, uh, at the top, I've got nothing at the moment, I'm gonna get two 140s, PWMs as well, for the top, I just have my phone and my A50 thing, my, it doesn't impede too much on the you know, where the air can come out of, if I move it, you know, it's it's just blocking a little bit, so, it's not too bad, and then I just got my, I'm editing a video right now, so I kind of got my headphones, well, they're not plugged in right this second, what happened was I didn't have the HD audio thing plugged in all the way, I guess, so my front panel audio was not working, so I had to take it apart and plug it in better down there, but I was able to move my cables, so I don't know if I can turn... Um, I don't know if I can make this any better for you guys, but I was able to tuck my cables in even better. They look nice and neat. Uh, and I, it's the, uh, I got the darker panel because I didn't think I'd do a very good job on my first time. But you can barely see the wires. They're like lower the profile than the RAM. For the I was, went ahead and did a little bit of cable management today. The back is a mess. I uh, 100% need to uh, <laughs> work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, you can't see it. Um, so no other cables are sticking out, which is awesome. It looks pretty good in there. And like I said, two 140s for the top, PWM. And two 140s for the front, PWM. I kind of want to get light-up lights, but I kind of don't care. I kind of care more about performance than I do flashy lights. But I guess it would be kind of cool. One thing I hate about the case is this light when I'm sitting in my thing here. Yeah, that's the hard drive light, and I can't see it. I don't know what. It, I guess it's updating the game right now. Um, because I got that 12 terabyte hard drive. Well, you can't see it because this shroud's in the way. But I got a 2 terabyte and a 12 terabyte in there, and I put my games on the 12 terabyte because it's fast. And my 512 NVMe is kind of small sort of like it fills up really quickly so i plan on getting a two terabyte either another nvme or a m2 sata because this has two slots for uh two slots for the uh storage for nvme or m sata either one so i might just get a one terabyte to store all my games on because i kind of hate using a, a spinning hard disk for games and stuff you know, even 200 and something megabytes per second, still quite not 550 or higher. And uh, NVMe is really expensive, so I'm kind of just thinking about doing M2 SATA 550, 490, 520. Uh, four, 550 read, 520 write should be fine for video games. And then a 1 terabyte M2 uh, 2280. So then it'll kind of like hide in there. It'll It goes right underneath the graphics card. I'd have to pull the graphics card out to get to it, but um, I went ahead and moved it because I did have it in the upper slot. But then I learned that the upper slot is NVMe, PCI Express, and MSATA. This drive is not MSATA. So I went ahead and moved the NVMe drive to here so I could put an MSATA drive up there. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But uh, it's it's actually not that bad. You just unplug the graphics card and it's right there. Uh, pretty easy to get to. But yeah, my my daughter's friend's over, so I'm going in this now.